Before the video starts, guys, I want to go on ahead and tell you how you can enter to win an Xbox One or a PS4 100% free of charge. So you go into the description of this video or, you know, one of my videos, uh, preferably this video you're watching right here. And you're going to see right here, we go to the show more. It says sign up for free to play weekly fantasy. You click this link, it's going to send you straight over to MVP Draft. And uh, you can go on ahead and sign up if you have not already. I'm just going to go on ahead and log in. And the very first lobby one, the I mean, in the lobby, the very first one is the Mr. Golden Mutt Melee. Now, the winner of this, go on ahead and collect. The winner of this will win an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4. And it's not going to ask you for any credit card information. It's not going to ask you for any deposit. It's not going to ask you for anything. You can join in 100% play for free. Now, uh, you can't go to the MVP store. You can't go on ahead. This is kind of like uh, Mutt. If you guys are familiar with that, you can open packs for players that give you a uh, significant boost. Like, I pulled a rare uh, Cam Newton. So, you can go on ahead and make your lineup for free. You can put in um, the basic Cam Newton and I'll put in my rare Kim Newton that gives me 1.4 points, you know, boost for every touchdown he throws and stuff like that. So even though we both have Cam Newton, my Cam Newton will outscore yours because I get the boost. But um, I've been running these tournaments for three weeks now, and the top players that actually won uh, didn't really have any players for boost. They just happened to pick the right players at the right time. But, again, you can sign up 100% for free, and the winner gets an Xbox One or PS4 console. Now to the video. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to week three of our NCAA franchise. You take a look. We're going up against the Ohio Bobcats, and they are a higher overall than we are. As you go on ahead and take a look, at our rankings and our uh, top players. So as you guys can see from the title, there is a significant injury that happens this game. <clears throat> and I didn't even realize until later on. I, I didn't even notice when the injury happened. Uh, you know, but nonetheless, going up on the road against uh, Ohio, hopefully we can go on ahead and continue our nice little two-game win streak as we can see, we're averaging more rushing and passing yards per game, and we're averaging more points per game. So uh, hopefully that can stay true. We can outscore them, go on ahead and get this W, and hopefully make an impact and a case, a strong case at that, that we do belong in the uh, in, in a bowl game. So, uh, yeah, right here, you're taking a look at, I love how they did this, man, the little highlight reel right here. I think that was... Wait, are we home? Or are we away? I'm not even sure. We might be home. No, we're away. We're definitely away. So to begin the game, we end up getting ball first. So this right here is an opportunity to go ahead and hopefully strike early. <coughs> put some points on the board. Put the pressure on their offense. And allow our defense to hopefully go ahead and gobble up their mistakes. As you can see, Jack Goff, uh, 12 for 24 last game. 283 yards with four touchdowns. So we're going to start out with the run on the right side. Break a tackle. And we fight forward to a nine-yard gain. You can see Malloy's, <coughs> excuse me, rushing stats of the year. So right here, we just chuck it up, and that right there gets batted down, forcing us on a very short third and one. We decide to run the ball right here, and we do pick up the first down barely, but nonetheless, we still pick up the first down. Next play right here, we're in shotgun. Jack Goff decides to roll out, throw on the run, and it is a completion for Ryan Kim. Right here, quick little out route over there on the left side, and Sweetie Cheeks comes through with his first catch of the game. Another shotgun, another pass right here, as Jack Goff right here takes off. Nobody's really open, so he goes on ahead, slides down after a nine-yard gain following play. Still another pass, decides to throw on the run, and Jack Goff gets lucky as the interception was dropped. But the very next pass to Barunda right there was thrown on the money, and Eric Barunda comes up with his first touchdown of the game so Marshall takes a 7-0 lead hoping uh, their defense can come on ahead and uh, play well to prevent you know uh, the team from going ahead and tying the game but one thing that was very frustrating about this team was same way as when we played Northern Illinois we, we got a break week two but this game every single 
play was no huddle. Every single time. And it is so frustrating. <coughs> Thankfully, he went out of bounds. Because I have to go on ahead and I can't come out in like a 3-4 a or a 4-3. And then he started no huddling, switching up to these four wide receiver sets. And I'm stuck in a 4-3 where the coverage really isn't that great. Big third down right here. We decide to go for the screen, and we hold them behind the line of scrimmage, only giving up three points. So that right there was definitely a very, very, very good uh, job by us to go ahead and stop them once they uh, got close to the end zone. So another opportunity right here as we get a huge gain over there, passing midfield into plus territory on the kickoff return. Very next play, we end up uh, going to come back. Sweetie Cheeks, the broken tackle, approaches the red zone. Right here, decided to run the ball. You got to follow Harambe being two. That is by far the most explosive uh, blocking guard in this game. So right here, we roll out with Jack Goff and get close to a first down. Third and one, we need a, a good first down. We roll out. Nobody's really open. Throw on the run, and Hugh Janus goes on ahead and gets stopped behind the line of scrimmage for no gain. So we're going to go on ahead and settle for a field goal. Not the results we wanted. But still keeps us up one touchdown, and uh, our defense did pretty well last drive. And hopefully they can go ahead and do the same. Excuse me, I'm over here yawning. I woke up at uh, four because I've, I've welched you guys on some football game, but I've been uploading uh, 2K because <laughs> I haven't had the time to play some games. And I've just been uploading, you know, the live commentaries I've already had on my computer. So uh, decided to try and get some sleep early. Woke up at about 3 30 yesterday not yesterday this morning actually so i can go on ahead and get you guys these games and i'm commentating it at about 1 15 p.m so a little tired a little a little tired but uh that's still not gonna stop the grind as jack golf right here stands in the pocket throws over to the right side and is dropped that right there <coughs> that right there was a big drop excuse me as i go on ahead and take a little ship of this white cherry gatorade wet my throat a little bit Jack Goff throws over the middle, and Ryan Kim comes up with a huge 30-yard reception as Malloy uh, takes it for four yards to the left side. Of course, you always want to try and follow and run towards uh, Harambe Bantu's side. So uh, right here, you'll notice that the quarterback change is different, and I had no idea. I honestly didn't even notice yet. But, yes, there is an injury. Jack Goff is injured. And unfortunately, he is missing for nine weeks. So I went ahead and only, um, <coughs> I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I only uh, did the name for one quarterback. So that means I need another quarterback because uh, Jack Goff is injured. So if you guys would like to be a created player <coughs> taken up for... Um, Jack Goff until he comes back. Leave in the comment section your name. It could be a facetious name. It could be a funny name. It could be your real name. Just go on ahead and leave a comment. Leave a name and I'll randomly select somebody. Now I already played this game and the game after. So uh weeks three and four uh will be with I think his name is Cooper, a little white boy Cooper out here. He was throwing dots though. Um but week five, I'm gonna go through the comment section of this video and I am gonna go on ahead and select a uh uh, a name you know so if you want to be the backup QB starting until um, until he, uh, I was gonna say Hugh Janus <laughs> until Jack Goff comes back go on ahead and let me know just leave a name in the comments also guys truly would uh, appreciate the support you guys can sign up the link in the description for MVP football uh, the fantasy you know uh, they're doing a huge giveaway and the winner gets an look at right here Cooper and he got the move, and he can't go up that way. As we end up taking the lead, Brandon Cooper. Now, if if somebody did leave the name Brandon Cooper, I honestly don't remember if I did two quarterbacks or one. So if I did choose Brandon Cooper already, then, you know, you guys can let me know. Like, wait a minute, Jason, you chose that name already. That's already a created name. <coughs> so I don't have to go on ahead and choose another name, but you guys can let me know. But, yeah, you click the link in the description, 100% free. It's not going to ask you for anything whatsoever. Unless you want to try and increase your chances of winning by getting uh, uh, better players with boosts. But, you know, like I said, people have been winning, putting in Coleman, 
putting in, uh, you know, Laguerre Blunt. You know, cards with no boost, but just picking the right players that are dominating. But it's 100% free to you, and it helps me out a lot. And, you know, this is awesome. This is the first time, you know, they're giving away a console to one of you guys. So I'm extremely excited that I'm able to partner up with them and provide a console to one of you guys. A PS4 or an Xbox One, 100% free. You don't have to pay for anything. And you have an opportunity, if you are one of the lucky few, to you know, go on ahead and select the best players in fantasy this upcoming week, <coughs> you will get a next gen console. I think that's amazing. So, again, and look at him backpedaling, I don't know why he was doing that. So, go on ahead, click the link in the description, sign up for free so you can go on ahead and have a chance to win a next gen console. So, as you can see, up 31 to 17 right here, only 34 seconds remaining, doing really good so far this half. Hopefully, we can go on ahead and uh, keep it up. Definitely don't give any more kickoff returns because that was a big blow to give that up uh, previously. But right here, escapes uh, the pocket and the pass rush, throws on the run, and thankfully, it was an incomplete pass. So, he decides to roll out, throw off his back foot, and another one. Another incomplete pass. And there he is standing in the pocket, chucks it up really quickly to the left side, and it looks like they were almost about to score right before halftime. They called their... Uh, second to last timeout, almost had an interception, but Raven Wolf drops it. Five seconds up, we get a huge sack. They're going to go on ahead and call their last timeout. <coughs> They're going to go on ahead and settle for a field goal. So unfortunately, we let them get into field goal range, but at least the defense was good enough to hold them to a field goal once they got there. After this play, we're going to go straight into the halftime. See you guys right after that. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. It's all about perspective. Everybody who loves offense loved that first half. Lots of big plays, explosive plays. Offense has really got into the rhythm. But then there's the responsible opposing view, finding all the things that went wrong on the defensive side. Yeah, it, it's twofold. You know, there's an offense and there's a defense. And at some point, I'm, glad, you, guys, I'm glad you've noticed that. Yeah, well, I didn't notice it in the first half, but <laughs> I no, wanted one side. In the first I'd, half. I'd like to notice more of it. In the so here we go into half. Well, into the second half, and we are on defense, the and we're down our star quarterback. So I uh, was really a little, little nervous, especially since they got that field goal right before the half. That right there, look at it, just run right through three of our guys. That right there helped them out, you know, a ton. They're now eight points away if they score to go for two to, from making it just a, a three-point ball game. So, again, he's killing me with the read option right there. I don't know why he kind of did like a little dip instead of just uh, straight attacking upfield after that, but I will I'll, I'll take it. But the very next throw, gets the first down, goes to the screen right there. He's got some pancakes. Great blocking ahead of him. And he just walks right in, and they actually decide to not go for two, and I believe kick the extra point, keeping it a four-point game. So now a field goal does help us out still. You know, a field goal goes on ahead and puts us up seven. So hopefully we can go on ahead and at least get a field goal as we decide to hit him with the toss over there on the left side. Great gain right there. Got to get Malloy a little bit more involved. Uh, was definitely pass happy. And as you can see, Cooper throwing dots. I don't even think he threw an incomplete pass yet since he's been in the game. Right here, another toss right here. And Malloy with the spin move. Go ahead and hit that young man with the swiggles. Right here, little pass on the run right here. Rolling, rolling, throws at the very last second to Sweetie Cheeks. And he comes down with it. So Cooper standing in the pocket, facing a little bit of heat that was coming up from the right side. But McCringleberry does come up with, I believe, his first reception of the game. Standing in the pocket right here. Cooper's looking away. He's open. He decides to take off and gets down. Third and two. Big play right here. Can they pick up the first down? Going ahead with the counter. And Malloy does have plenty of running room to go on ahead and pick up the first down. Putting them at, uh, what, the three, four yard line. Another throw on the run right there to Ryan Kim, who's having a pretty big day right there. Uh, very next play. Go back to Malloy on the ground. Scoring another touchdown. And that right there will put up Marshall. 38 to 27, now up 11. So again, another situation where a field goal, look at me just running back. Look at Bobby Long back, making sure that I can at least hopefully slow him down as we get a big sack right there. So uh, right here, standing in the pocket, another beautiful dot. They are just destroying our press right there and uh, definitely got to get out of that defense. You know, I try to play some man-to-man, -man, but so far they're doing 
good job of stopping it. But the read option has been destroying us all game long. We finally uh, do good with stopping it. Goes over to the left side, forced an incomplete pass, right side, excuse me. Five minutes remaining, they're going to go for it on fourth down. Can we get ourselves a big stop? And he throws right in between like four guys. I was there and so were several others. But unfortunately, whew, big hit right there. Unfortunately for us, he does come down with the pass. So right here, he throws over there on the right side, just uh, throws it out of bounds. Um, right here, chucks it up towards the left side. And look at Elf with the interception. That right there was definitely a big play. Hopefully, we can just keep the ball on the ground. And tick, 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 tick. Just going ahead, waste some time, and hopefully get up out of here with a victory. And like I said, man, trying to make a strong case to get us a bow game. So right here, another run on the left side. And we end up getting tackled only after three. But the more important thing is that the clock is ticking. And uh, it's going to hopefully make it tougher for uh, them to come back if they stop us, which hopefully they do not. So up 11 right here. Another counter play with TJ Grant. And uh, we get, no, they end up calling a timeout. So right here, they're wasting their timeouts. Uh, as Malloy gets a huge run towards the inside. And I believe that right there puts them over 100 yards on the day, if I'm not mistaken. So two minutes remaining right here. Another run right here with Malloy cut back to the inside. And um, I believe that right there was their last timeout. Little play action. We thought him a Kringleberry. We seen me try to cut back a little bit. I don't want to score. We're just going to take some knees and end up uh, just getting out of here with a victory. So that's the end of the Oh, no, no. It's not the end of the video yet. I, I believe uh, we uh, do we score. Do I kick a field goal or something or no? I do kick a field goal. Uh, and thankfully, we ended up making it. But again, that's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed See your boy GS man. We are three and zero on the season, and the player of the game does go to Malloy. Big game. So these are the stats right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, in the comment section is the link so you can go on ahead and sign up for free to try to win an Xbox One or PS4 console thanks to MVP Draft. And if you guys do sign up, send me a screenshot on Twitter. I'm following absolutely anybody who decides to go ahead and support me by uh signing up really means a lot so uh yeah the next ncaa video will be out a little later hopefully you guys enjoy peace give it to me baby